So let's start uh, with this one as our first one of the day. Um, what is the electron configuration of fluorine, or F? Okay, so um, again, if you uh, need to memorize uh, the names, uh, fluorine's a good one to memorize because are the um, symbol of these uh, elements because you'll be seeing a lot of it in uh, introductory or general chemistry. But, um, so anyways, F, right? Um, then it asks, what's the electron configuration? So you just use the periodic table, just like what we went over. So um, 1s2, right? Because that's how many uh, electrons can fill up an s orbital. And if you look at the periodic table, there's only uh, two electrons in that first energy level. Um, then the next one, uh, the next energy level is the 2. Um, N equals 2 energy level, right? So 2s, so 2 electrons can fit in there. Um, again, this is why the left side of the periodic table, the column sticking up is called the s block, those two um, columns. And on the right side of the periodic table, remember we called it the p block, right? So um, it's still in energy level 2, right? 2p. And then with fluorine, all you got to do is count how many electrons um, have been placed there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So um, now it asks, so that's the um, full electron configuration. So how many valence electrons does fluorine have? So you just look at the um, last period to get the valence electrons or the energy level 2, n equals 2. So um, valence electrons, so is 7. What's the energy level of these electrons? Well, uh, the energy level of these ones is 2. Um, what's the total number of electrons? Here, let's put this in another spot. N equals 2. So the total number of electrons, you just count those up, right? 2, 4, plus 5 is 9. And in fact, there's another thing I don't think this problem goes over, but there's things called inner electrons, and you can just figure out those by subtracting that. So there's two. Um, where are those other electrons? So they're talking about these two inner electrons here. Where are they? Well, they're in the 1s orbital, or the n equals 1 energy. Okay, remember, um, this energy level can only hold two electrons. This one can actually hold eight. So fluorine uh, if you wanted to, there's something called a Lewis structure, I guess we could go over right now, um, where you just put dots around the elemental symbol to um, designate how many valence electrons you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's the Lewis structure for fluorine. This um, actually is very useful for later. I know it seems rather minor, but um, anyways. Uh, so you can get a lot of information from this electron configuration. And again, this is the full electron configuration. That was the first problem. But I guess we should do the um, condensed electron configuration too. Condensed electron configuration is you just take the valence electrons, write those the same way, so 2s2, 2p5, and you take the inner electrons, right, and um, just instead use the noble gas symbol in brackets. Um, I know it doesn't look very condensed right now, but um, when you get to like higher up, um, bigger atoms, um, like iodine or bromine or something like that, um, this will really come in useful. Okay, anyways, um, we'll do some more of these.